Okay, what I'm doing on this car right here, I'm replacing the lower control arms on both sides. Uh, the 2006, I guess. That's the L in case you can't figure that out with me pointing it to the car. Anyway, if you hit a curve, I guess you messed up the... Bushings on the lower control arm, I guess. Or either way, they were bad or whatever. I'm going to show you this video right quick. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to take the tire off because I'm assuming you know how to do that already if you're going to do this. Or attempt to do this. If not, either way. Just four bolts. Zip, 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 zip. Take them out. Yeah, I'm going to replace this one right now. <coughs> you can see it there. You're not supposed to be able to do that, man. Bushing is bad. That's this bushing right here. Not to mention, it's all cracked, too. It's got to come out. But, uh, I was going to do a quick video on here. You might see everything shaking around and stuff, but, hey, I'm trying to show you, so. Normally, I'm not holding the camera here trying to do it. Okay, right here, we gotta release this nut. Got another one there. Alright, we got a nut right here. We gotta lo loosen that one. Just put a wrench on it. Uh, this one's a three quarters. You put, yeah, put a wrench on it. Hit it with a hammer, break it loose. It should come loose pretty easy. I mean, they don't have to put on super tight. Once you loosen it, just proceed to remove the nut. Uh, almost all the way off, but not, not entirely off. There's a knuckle right here. If you hit that knuckle, a lot of times they'll come loose. for the compressor to turn off but anyway now we're gonna remove this bolt right here I got a 17 we're gonna put this right on there it's off Yep, it's loud, buddy. I'm working on the car. There's another one right here in the bottom. Loud man, sorry about that, but 
I'm gonna release this. Jack up this up. The disc right, I'm gonna put it on the disc and jack it up a little bit. Now I'm trying to release that knuckle again. Man, the whole, this comes off so easy, I'm just having trouble with this. There it goes, it came loose. I was gonna turn the camera off and just show it, get it done and then show you, but that's what most people do. I just want to go ahead and keep rolling and just show you exactly what I go through for the whole thing. Maybe I'm not talking loud enough, I will. I'll have to put in caption some of the stuff I said, I guess. But as you can see, it wasn't that bad, man. It wasn't that hard. The other side I did, it took me a little longer to side because I had to figure it out at first and then I decided, well, I'll just make this video right quick. Not gonna be the greatest, but like I said, I'm doing this for me, but I'll, that's it. Help whoever wants to see it. So, this is the old one. Okay, this is the one I just pulled off. This is the one I'm gonna put in there. Just take off this nut, remove the protector, the chipping cover protector. It's all smashed up anyway, like, did much to it. We're gonna go do all we're gonna do is let me put that away so it don't fly away and I gotta go grab it. Okay. What we're gonna do now. Same thing we did just a minute ago, but backwards. Now I'm gonna put this in here. This back in there. You're gonna slide this back in there. To make it easier, jack up the up the by the roller disc and just pick up that arm a little bit.
Just be careful not to mess it up, man. But you can jack that up, give you room to play in there, see? And on this side, I slid it in here, see? But that's why I jacked it up. I was having trouble lining this up. Now I always remember where you pulled it off. Luckily, they're the same. But. Get it in there. Okay, all you gotta do is line it up, start screwing it back in. Yeah, nine it up can be a bitch, I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes, but. Come on, bitch, go in there. It's not like it popped in there. Come on, did it pop in there? Yeah, I got it. Sometimes you gotta get the hell out of it. Don't tighten it. I just I just put in a little bit. I gotta get the other side right now. All right, puppy. You want the what? The candy. We'll go through a grandma. Open that for you, buddy. I'm busy, man. Yeah. Now we gotta get this side in right here. Let pop right in. That I tightened quite a bit because uh, it's just about ready. Now I'm gonna put this in. Try to bend it however I'm gonna need it. This can be kind of tricky too. But once you get it in there, you're good to go. the jack out of my way. 
push those down. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Just told me to check my hands. I had gloves on, but stubborn. I'm gonna go back inside and get them. There we go. They went in pretty easy. Let me put this nut on. Yeah, that's pretty tight. What I normally do. I'll tighten up a little more with a hammer. It's like impacting with the impact wrench. Just don't get carried away and bust it all up, man. I'm about to use a torque, but you know, not everybody got a torque wrench. Look, they don't even, that sucker don't even move now, man. It was bad. But anyway, we're done with it. I just got to tighten it now, but I got to turn the compressor back on to uh, get more air. I'm just using a little imp uh, pink air. job done uh, this video is 15 minutes so far and it really shouldn't have been that long but I stopped a couple times because the compressor so y'all could hear me and see what I was doing but anyway look there's the brand new one right there uh, those are the two old ones I pulled off of course I didn't pull both of them on 15 minutes the other one got pulled off too but I didn't record that this either way at 15 minutes you see what I did right there that's that's like crazy fast and my sister was gonna get charged 800 and uh, somewhat for to replace these two at the plate at the store. So I just ordered the parts for I got the parts for $59. Uh, got a good deal on them. And then uh, well they're both in brand new. Job done. Now what she did she slammed in the curb. I don't know if that's where this came from. This is all bent too. But either way. There's a piece of the 
frame you can't see it it goes into there but I'm gonna work on that next that's what I'm not gonna show you putting on the tire but it's simple as putting on the tire you know you just grab the tire line it up those then put those four bolts on ding, 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 tire on ready to go but when you change those but that's easy work I'm already done uh, to tell you the truth it takes longer to get the tools ready to do it than what it does to do the job anyway later keep watching my videos I'll be posting more give me some likes and uh, anything later bye